the Fed holding rates steady and projecting three rate cuts still to come this year. Joining us right now on this is former Fed Vice Chairman Roger Ferguson. He's a former president and CEO of TIAA and now Vice Chairman of the Business Council and a CNBC contributor. Roger, um, when you and I spoke yesterday, you were thinking that they were more likely to move to the dot plots, at least, to signal two cuts for the year. Were you surprised that this maybe seemed a little more dovish than a lot of people had been anticipating? Um, I was surprised, but I also recognized that, in fact, you know, several did move in that direction. So I think this was a close call, and the market's getting very excited about, you know, something that's really, I think, a little bit on the margin. Um, I as I looked right. at yesterday, yeah. I now I will say there's a little bit of Jay Powell's uh, Chairman Powell's press conference when he was asked about the January and February numbers, where I thought he you know could have shown a bit more concern. So that might have been playing into the market as well, um, because many folks had been focused on those relatively hot numbers, and he put it in the context of you know a bumpy ride, and we'll look through it. Well, so I think there was a little bit of dovishness in there that perhaps might have been a bit unintended. You know, the only thing I, I was trying to, I, I agree with you, that was kind of my take on it too. He tried really hard not to say much of anything, I thought, through the press conference, because every reporter was trying to pin him down and get him to say something that we could read into the tea leaves and try and figure out when the cuts are going to start based on what he sees. Um, the only thing I thought is maybe he doesn't want to sound like he's flip-flopping from what he said. Um, uh, what was it, two weeks ago, to, to the Senate, where he said, you know, cuts will come sooner rather than later. He, he did sound the alarm that we are watching inflation very closely. I think he certainly did. The other thing I noticed was that the statement itself, when it came to this question of, you know, needing to be convinced, um, went back to the usual language. So, in fact, the committee, to some degree, walked back the, you know, this is getting nearer than we might have thought. Um, back to what Jay, what Chairman Powell had said during the Senate. So I think on balance, they tried to stay very close to, you know, the pre-existing line. I think the only um, place where I would have imagined they could have uh, proved things forward a little bit uh, is by maybe showing a touch more concern about inflation. The other thing that I found interesting was they marked up only slightly but noticeably across the board um, you know, where they think inflation is going to be this year. They marked up, again, notice, slightly but noticeably, you know, growth expectations. So the overall message was the economy looks like it's a little stronger. Inflation may end up this year a little higher. And yet they didn't do what I thought, which is sort of be clear that they're ready to move to uh, not three, if that's what the data calls. Ro Roger Wabi, I still, it, 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 in your view, did, does the, the inflate, uh, does the recession risk suddenly carry more weight with, with them for some reason than the inflation risk? Why are you thinking about cutting it all if you're not worried, if you're not seeing some cracks somewhere? Do, or do they know something we don't know about, about the risk to, to the economy? It, it just seems like that took a front seat, and then inflation took a back seat all of a sudden. I don't know why. Well, no, I, well, I, I think the reason that appears to be the case is that inflation has actually been coming down closer and closer to their target. And I think they are right to say when that is the case, the dual mandate comes into play. Um, having said that, I don't think that they are seeing a recession. Uh, I don't think the staff was forecasting one the way they were, you know, about a year ago or so. Um, but the reason to talk about cutting, Joe, is obviously, you know, rates are in restrictive territory. We don't know quite how much restriction right. there is. But if inflation does come down, then it's appropriate for rates to come down somewhat because right. there's no reason to maintain an overly restrictive um, stance. So very data dependent, you know, very dependent on the incoming data. And I would say the question of two versus three is not really resolved yet because it's going to depend very much on, on the data. It, it's just your one message that I want to make sure people hear, Roger, um, because I think you understand these things. You understand how Chairman Powell thinks. You understand how the Fed works as the former vice chairman. Your sure thought is that the market may be right. getting carried away um, and, and hearing things that, that you don't hear. I think the market is hearing what it wants to hear. Uh, and yes, I think they're getting a bit ahead of where the Fed is. And I think the question of two versus three is a really, was a really close call. You know, had one or two moved slightly, we would have been talking today about oh, how they moved to two from three. Um, and so it's really literally in every sense right on the margin.
Um, and so I do think that's the market, uh, once again, getting maybe a little ahead of where the Fed is and hearing what it wants to hear and, and disregarding the rest, so to speak.